episode 3290, Ask God. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. I hope you're ready to tune in to what God has in store for you because you know what? I know it's something incredible, but you have to be willing to open up your heart and open up your mind. Ask God. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I am so delighted of your presence. If you already have had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to CreatureNow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy, Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, how is your weekend going? And now you're probably like, well, Christiane, I don't have much time. I'm prepping for some major things here. We've got the playoffs happening. The Australian Open is coming to an end. And you know what? I have actually lost track of the Australian Open. We've had a few things happen. But you know what? Sometimes when life gets in the way, you just have to stop and ask God. You know, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. That's James 1, verse 5. You know, in our journey through life, we frequently encounter challenging situations and difficult decisions. And it's during these times that we can find solace and hope. Where do you find your comfort? Because you see, in that verse, James 1, verse 5, it reminds us that God is not only willing, but also eager to grant us the wisdom we need. His generosity is boundless, and he provides without any hesitation or judgment. But something tells me we hesitate, or we judge saying, huh, God doesn't have time for me. Or wait, you just do it anyway, because you like the control. You do what you want to do. You don't even consult him. You don't even go to your knees in prayer. Most of the time, when we think about it, and I really want you to think about this for a minute, when do you go to God? And ask him, whether it's a recipe for dinner. I know that sounds strange, but just stick with me here for a moment. Or maybe you ask him for guidance when it comes to your career or how you raise your children. Or maybe it's a little bit more deeper and it's more like a 911 call of like, Lord, I need you now. And like, why weren't you here 20 seconds ago? Most of the time, we're knocking on God's door because it's a 911 call. Very rarely do we involve him in our everyday. And here I want to challenge you. Our life is crazy and busy in our every day. It's when we're doing the laundry and the dishes and dealing with the dogs. And it's like, I can't get above drowning in the water. Well, have you ever called on God? Have you ever asked him? Asked him for help? And said, Lord, I need you now. Like, give me the strength to get through this next minute. But for some strange reason, we just kind of hang out with our own selves. And we're just like, no, I'll get through it. I got this already. Do you? In the midst of our uncertainties that we face today, let's not forget that divine guidance is readily available through prayer. The wisdom bestowed upon you by God is not like the knowledge of this world. It runs deeper It's pure, and it carries the heavenly insight, one that I know you could really use because I know I need it absolutely every single day. And by seeking wisdom from our Heavenly Father, you tap into a source that illuminates your path and aligns your decisions with His will. Ask God. Make today a day marked by continuous conversation with God as we seek His wisdom in every aspect of our lives. Yes, the dinner dishes and dogs, all of it. He wants to be a part of all of it, not just the 911 call. Now, yes, as much as that's important and we want him to answer immediately, know this, it's all in his time, right? So we can't look at our watch and say, Lord, I need an answer in like two seconds. He may not answer for 20 years, or at least he may not give you the answer that you're looking for in 20 years because God gives you what you need, not what you want but you still got to ask. And that's usually where the hangup is. At some point in our lives, we've asked God for something and we were disappointed by him. Come on, let's be real. I've been disappointed by God. He hasn't given me everything I wanted. 
but he's given me everything I needed. And he's wrapped it in a way that was perfect for what I needed, not knowing that I needed it. Yeah, I know. That's why we can't see into the future. We'd be freaking out right now. Seriously. But you see, when we ask God and then we don't have the answer given to us, what do we do? We just hang up the phone and walk away. Ah, he doesn't care. He doesn't have time for that. So then we just don't show up very often anymore. Or when we do, it's only in those spare moments or those 911 calls. My friend, God wants to be a part of your every single day. He wants to be driving with you when you're picking up the kids. He wants to be cooking right beside you when you're having dinner. And you're making it, even though you're having, you know, fussy kids on one side and a crabby husband on the other side. He wants to be right beside you. But are you opening up your heart to allowing that? I want you to really think about how you utilize God. How do you ask God for what you need or even what you want? How do you want to phrase it? How do you knock on his door or do you? Do you only spend time by reading a devotion and then you kind of close the book like, okay, yeah, I got my Bible verse. I'm done. Read this written by whoever. And I'm not saying devotions are bad. I'm not saying that at all. But how much are you actually in the word and asking God for what you need the way you know how to ask it? Sometimes we get tripped up thinking that we have to appear perfect to God. All polished. God wants you to come as you are. That's why he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. It's because he already sees you as perfect. Because Jesus Christ is our veil to God. He cleanses us of our sins. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, we can do whatever we want. We'll leave that for another episode. But we do need to have conversations with God every day. And really seek his wisdom. And whether it's a seemingly small decision or a choice that will alter the course of our lives, his guidance is available to you in abundance and without condition. You see, the fault of us as human beings is that we have expectations and conditions on absolutely everything. It's not fair, but that's who we are as human beings. I know that's one thing I try to work on every single day is unconditional love, serving, as Jesus Christ served. Now, I'm not really great at it. I try to be good at it. 1% better from the day before. And sometimes, oh, I'm spot on. And other times I fail. It's just horrible. Just already. Drown me in the water. It's bad. But God still sees me as who I am and who I'm becoming. And he meets me right where I'm at. My friend, he wants to meet you, but you have to be willing to, to talk to him. So take a moment today to reflect on the areas of your life that require God's wisdom. How can you actively seek his guidance and remain open to the insights he provides? Go back and listen to James chapter one, verse five. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Empower yourself today by asking God, by talking to him, by having conversation and allowing him to bring hope in the midst of your chaos. I don't know, friend, what you're going through. I know a lot of people are struggling. It's the beginning of the year. In fact, we're about ready to embark on the second month of a new year. And pretty soon, uh, I've got news for you. Less than nine months, you're putting up Christmas decorations. And about six months, you're already thinking about Christmas presents again. Yeah, time goes that fast. But it tells you how precious life is. Don't take it for granted. And don't take God for granted. Yes, he's always there, but are you? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. 
Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Are you willing to ask God and to trust him? Go in peace. Be present. Be incredible. Be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a beautiful, blessed week. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.